Welcome back to Switched to Linux. So today we're going to talk about the USB Live Key or the just the Live Key as you might call it. So what is this? This is any type of removable bootable media that will allow you to boot your computer into the Linux operating system. So you can do this for an installation or you can do this just to test out a distro. You can even do this in the case of some distros will actually operate entirely on a, a live key and many distros can be installed onto a USB drive. Technically the live key is a drive that is designed to boot the Linux system so what we're going to do is talk about the two options there are. First, most common is the USB drive. So these guys here are nice and easy. You can, I like to use this one here. It's probably had, you know, 15, 20 different distros on it at some point in time. So I just kind of use this drive, boot it around, and then eventually it will wear out and no longer give me good results. So I'll throw it out and get another one. The other thing you can do is you can write your own CD. So the CDs, the da biggest downside on your CDs is that they, you know, they're a single use. So you create the key. Now the good news is if you want to make a, a very nice archive of your, uh, of all your different Linux distros, you know, you could burn a separate CD and keep them in there and, and that'd work out quite nicely. But what we're going to talk about here today is first, where do you buy one of these keys should you need to buy one and secondly uh, how to create it just very briefly now there are videos on the website uh, and I will put them in a playlist with this video here that will show you step by step how to create the key on a USB drive but suppose you would like to just purchase one because you know you might have slow internet or you're totally lacking confidence, you can go on Amazon and find places where people are selling CD keys. Don't do that. You want to buy your CD keys directly from the foundation that creates that Linux distro. And the reason is, if I could put anything on this that I want and sell it to you saying whatever I want. So I could put malware on this put it onto Amazon, tell you it's a Linux Mint CD key, you can buy this thing, plug it into your computer, and spread viruses. So I don't like doing that option. When you buy the key directly from the foundation, you have, you, you have a better understanding of what you're getting, and they're going to validate that it's the correct, the correct uh, key when you buy it. Now there is another place called OS Disk which is frequently referenced. I have not purchased distros directly from this, but I've seen enough reputable people talking about it that you could check that out. Um, I don't know anything more about the company than the fact you can get on there and get uh, bootable media for about every operating system there is. Now the preferred method is to download your own image. Now, the downside is that your images are about a gigabyte each, so you have to be able to download the gigabyte. Now, if that means it's going to take you a little while, you know, that's okay. When I first got my computer, uh, my first computer, and I put that thing on the internet, I, uh, I wanted to, to, to get, the, um, uh, it was Netscape Navigator, I believe. And so it was a 15 or a 25 megabyte download, something like that, something that was astronomically small in today's standards and astronomically large in those standards. And so what you did, since you had to dial up and that would actually take the internet connection or the, the phone line away from the internet connection, you dial up about, you know, right before you go to bed. So if anyone's trying to reach you, you know, it's at night, so that's okay. You'd set the thing to download and three hours later you'd have your little file on your desktop and then you could install it. So if it takes you a little while, that's okay. Now, with the way internet goes today in America, I've been at places where it take a while, but in reality, 
Uh, in reality, you can download a gigabyte of a file in the average internet connection in about an hour or so. So it's not super fast, it's not super slow. Uh, there's places where you could download it in 20 minutes. Sometimes I get them in 20 minutes, sometimes it takes a little while longer. So once you download your image, you want to validate it. And I give instructions on a video on how to easily do that. So basically, uh, the way the validation works is uh, you're going to look for a hashtag and then you're going to get the hash sum of the individual file you have and compare that with, with the hash sum published on the website for that distro. Now there's a lot of complicated instructions that come with this and you'll see those as you download different Linux distros. I provide a video with, with simple ways to do a, a quick validation on a Windows, on a Mac, and on a Linux computer. So you should be able to get that figured out without a lot of hassle. Uh, now once you have it verified, you can either burn it. Now the image you get is an ISO image, .iso. If you happen to have one of the very small Linux distros, you might be able to burn that onto a standard CD. Most of your modern Linux distros you will need to burn onto a DVD. So just open up your whatever DVD writer program that you have and then you'll want to identify the ISO image, put your blank disk in there, and however the process is to make that. For the, for the, uh, the Mac and the PC, I use uh, a UNet boot for putting the, the distro on there. Anymore, since I have so many Linux computers, it's just easier to, to download the distro directly to one of the Linux computers and do it from there because the Linux computers generally come with a built-in CD writer or a, a USB writer and a DVD burner for that matter. Um, so uh, I've, I've had to do both, uh, both ways of creating your live keys within the last couple of weeks. You know, I had to rebuild a, a Windows system for some Windows tutorials I'm doing and going to be doing. Um, I've uh, put uh, I've built the CD keys to rebuild a computer for somebody just recently. So, you know, it's a pretty easy thing. Creating a CD key uh, to boot in your computer into Linux is a very basic, basic way to go. So it's not very complicated. So with that information, best way, download your distro, validate it, create your own images or disks. If that's just out of the question, the best place to go is check with the foundation that distributes your distro directly. Most of them do have the distros for sale. Some of them don't, but most of them do. So once you get your key, you can now boot your computer into Linux. And I really hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.